guys, Matt here. Today I'm going to be reviewing the movie Water for Elephants. This movie is directed by Francis Lawrence and it stars Robert Pattinson, Reese Witherspoon, and Christoph Waltz. The basic plot of the movie is this old gentleman is uh, standing outside this modern day circus fair attraction and these two guys thinks he's lost and thinks he you know has wandered away from the home so basically they take him in and they try to contact the home that, they, that he says he's from. Well, while he's in this gentleman's office, <clears throat> the man starts looking around at old photographs and pictures and starts remembering his life with the circus. Well, lo and behold, this old gentleman, who's played by Hal Holbrook, by the way, and who I think is one of the, the best living actors today, is Jacob Jankowski himself. So... <clears throat> He starts talking to the younger guy about his life with the circus and how he knew these people and a bunch of people that the younger guy knew about but never really was knowledgeable of. So he says, hey, old man, did you tell me the story? And so basically that's when our movie begins. After the movie starts, we see Robert Pattinson going to an Ivy League school, Cornell University. And on his final day of his exams, he gets the tragic news that leaves him familyless and homeless. So he decides to discard his schooling and become a nomad, going wherever his calling might be. So on uh, one day walking, you know, railroad tracks, hoping to lead him wherever he needs to go, he jumps aboard a train. And this train is coincidentally a Barzini Brothers traveling circus. And on this train he meets August, played by Christoph Waltz, who is in charge of everything. He's the ringmaster, and he gives Jacob a job. So, Jacob is now the circus new veterinarian. And um, on his very first um, examination, he meets the wife of August, Marlena, played by Reese Witherspoon. And as soon as he meets her, he is just love-struck, and eventually they start having feelings for each other. And uh, so that's the basic plot of the movie. It won't go any farther, so I don't spoil anything. But this movie was, was actually pretty good. I was really surprised. I thought it would be slow and boring, but it's not, because they show you what life as a traveling circus is like. And granted, yes, it was back in the 30s during the Great Depression, but it was really interesting how they took care of the animals, how all of the men lived on the train, and how they even set up the tent itself. And the main attraction in the circus is a, uh, is a horse performance of four horses, black and white. <clears throat> and uh, one of them, Founders, is too injured to perform, so he's put down. So they bring in this new elephant, Rosie, and Robert Pattinson is made in charge of the elephant. And I've got to say, I don't know if they're special effects or if the elephant was actually trained to do its tricks in the movie but it was doing handstands it was standing up it was doing some phenomenal things and it was really neat to see now the movie does drag on a bit but you have Christoph Waltz who you know <laughs> it's perfect speaking and he pronounces every word and you know it's just kind of like you forget that he you know is German <clears throat> and it was nice for his character because he was this nice, you know, knowledgeable guy that would give, you know, great advice. But as soon as you crossed the line with him, as soon as you made him mad, that's when the dark side came out. And I've got to say, <laughs> never has a, you know, innocent, quiet, you know, nice man seemed so sinister because one minute he'll be talking, you know, smiling and cheery, and the next minute, the music kicks in, and then he loses the smile, and then he, you know, becomes a bad guy. And uh, <laughs> it, it was really, it was a really good role for him to play. Reese Witherspoon was was pretty good in the movie. Um, I do think though that the chemistry between Robert Pattinson and her were kind of lackluster at times, but overall, it was a good movie. Um, the movie was pretty much the story of Titanic, but with a circus. Now, if I had to rate this movie from a 1 to a 5, I'd give it a 3.5. So, I was pleasantly surprised by it, and uh, I recommend it. So, go out and see it. Until next time, see ya.